as you can see by the title today, I am reacted to I Am Maiden Phantom of the Opera Live at Download Festival 2023. What an amazing like intro that starts it off. To be honest, you had the bass like kind of like doing a lead kind of solo almost, and the drums follow, and then the bass uh, follows the guitar. It's so unique to I Am Maiden, but it sounds fantastic as the crowd are going absolutely nuts. Let's be honest, man, that riff is just so good. It's fast. You've got the epic drums uh, from this guy that is an absolute legend, man. He deserves all the praise in the world. And uh, if you are enjoying this reaction video and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, follow me on my social medias if you want to. The link will take you to the original video. And also comment, what do you think about this band, this song? I want your opinions. So amazing how you've got like that little bass uh, uh, riff that was like from the start, uh, the intro earlier, but you've got that, you've got the uh, lead guitar doing it as well as the rhythm guitar, and you've got the vocals kind of doing it, following that same kind of structure, and it's amazing, it fits the song so well, sounds so unique. His voice is absolutely amazing though, isn't it? You kind of not sing along, Bob, you because it is catchy, but his voice is amazing. So this was just uh, before I started going. I started going in 2014, so I just missed this. But um, I have uh, seen them at download. If you want to see that, my view, uh, the vlog will be up there right now. You'll see, uh, I think it was download 2022 when they played when I seen them. And you'll see uh, my place where I was stood and some songs as well. So check that out if you want to. Not only do you have like Bruce's voice that is amazing, you have all the other guys that seem backing vocals as well, and they have great voices too, and it really does fit the uh, the song really well. You've got the epic stage, that's amazing. You've got all the lights which uh, correspond with the screen and all that stuff. What an amazing stage as well it is, as you've got the crowd as well there. Amazing visual, that.
see you at the epic solo that's happening right now. Uh, you got the clean uh, guitar picking underneath that, as well as the other guy doing the riff. The fact that they got three guitars means there's so many different layers to it, which is amazing. But the solo is played amazingly, fits the song so well. But the tone of the guitars is amazing. That Fender sound just gets that epic, brutal sound. <laughs> Bless me, that is amazing. You know, when you think you can't get any better, you've got that epic bass solo that's uh, killer. But then you've got the guitars doing it as well. It's amazing. It sounds massive with all the different, you know, you've got the difference in frequencies from the different instruments. And it's amazing, man. This guy deserves all the praise in the world. And he had, uh, he writes pretty much the majority of uh, the catalogue, really, for Iron Maiden. And uh, it's fantastic. The stage sets that they have as well is amazing. They have fire, as you can see, that was happening. Different, like, themes on with the stage and everything. That's what they, especially what they had in uh, the recent time as well, which is amazing. They put so much effort into their live uh, shows. It's just so great to see that. And it makes it like a, sh a show, you know, not really like a concert show, but like just a show in general, a movie. It's great. So we have that complete change in tempo, change in the riff as well, which is just so unique, but so great. Uh, Bruce's voice is not only amazing, but he can control the crowd really well. Like he, they just uh, copy everything he says, everything he does. And uh, yeah, he's got them in the palm of the hand, man. Is it? They're all screaming. It is loud in the mix. You got another solo and it's amazing because like the guitarists are like dueling who can do the better solo it's amazing there's different styles to each player and they add their own uh sound to the iron maiden uh thing and it's absolutely amazing because like all the rigs are amazing and all of them sound unique in their own way but the tone of all the instruments is amazing it's all mixed together really well and produced amazingly and shot perfection
Man, the bass, the drums, and the guitars working together to create this epic, unique Iron Maiden sound that is absolutely insane. And uh, let's be honest, man, they just smash it out of the park every time they uh, play a performance. Like, it is amazing. They are such an amazing live band, and they deserve all the praise in the world. Hands down, this is probably one of my favourite songs as well, and it's just great. It comes out of that epic solo section that was happening for ages, but it was great. Into the uh, basically the uh, riff from like the start of the song with the bass, the guitars. You got the vocals doing it as well. So great. You got the blue light behind them as well, which is looking like it's a theme because you got the blue uh, drum kit as well. Absolutely amazing visual that of uh, the bass is just playing, going nuts. If you did enjoy this reaction video and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, follow me on my socials if you want to. But that was indeed I Am Maiden, Phantom of the Opera, live at Download Festival 2013, man. What an amazing performance of a great song. They uh, destroyed the crowd and uh, there were solos galore, riffs everywhere, just signature Iron Maiden. The link in the description will take to the original video, so check that out if you want to. If you would, leave a like as well, it would be appreciated. Comment, what do you think about this band, this song, I want your opinions. Uh, this was actually my uh, the one I missed. I was there the next year, and then I haven't missed it since. But if you want to see my vlog, as I said, there will be uh, down in 2022, I believe it was, where they was on, and it's on the channel, so check that out. I'll uh, see you all in another video. Goodbye.